going to be a wonderful member moment. Uh oh, pressure. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Our own Bill. Yay! Take it away, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, I'm going to inundate you with horse images. Sweet. Awesome. So, so this is a short essay on on horses, photographic essay on horses, mm. and some glimpses into how horses live their lives. I'll start with wild horses, Mustangs in Nevada with some photos from recent trips. I'll then touch on the lives of some horses in Mongolia from a trip in 2019. There's actually some similarities there between the first two. And then I'll finish with some equestrian sports in Sonoma County, mostly photos that I took just this past year. So wild horses. In my limited experience, wild horses are rarely alone. They usually uh, migrate around in small herds, and they're either bachelor herds or family herds. And these are bachelors. And bachelors are fun to take pictures of because they're very lively, they're younger and curious, and they're not afraid to approach because they know they can outrun you. <laughs> sort, of, sort of like antelope and other prey animals. They, their speed is how they get away from predators and, and they use it. Family herds are uh, consists of mares and foals and one or two stallions. And the lead stallion is usually the one that's watching you pretty closely, trying to decide whether to sound the alarm. And stallions uh, have scars from battles with other stallions. Mm -hmm. Battles for the right to mate with the mares in the herd. And the battles are usually short and fairly intense, and you often end with someone getting bitten, which Ooh. looks pretty pain painful to me. Oh my God. And that's apparently where some of those scars come from. And wow. when it's all over, the bitten stallion leaves immediately in a cloud of dust, taking his herd with him. A few months huh. ago, I spotted this stallion with two mares, two young mares, a harem of two. <laughs> And uh, with the bite scars on his neck and a partially chewed ear, I had to wonder what his life was like. Could have been an interesting conversation uh, were, it, were it possible. Is he missing an ear? <laughs> About half an ear. Half <laughs> the top ear. half. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, now we'll jump to the steppes of Mongolia. So here are the horses. There's some similarities. The horses live outdoors all year. Uh, like wild horses, they graze and search for food on their own. There are no fences, no paved roads, no barns. But they're not wild. They're uh, owned by nomadic herders who live nearby in a form of portable housing called a gare. They use the horses to uh, control cattle, sheep, or in this case, goats. These are cashmere goats. Uh, Mongolia is an important producer of cashmere wool. And thanks to the uh, cold, very cold winters, sub-zero, they say down to minus 40. The goat hair is longer, and as a result, the Mongolian cashmere wool is highly praised, and that's why people like Mongolian cashmere. So what about the horses in uh, that kind of weather? Well, they have long hair, too. Uh, in the summer, when we were there, most of the horses had shed their winter coats, but you could see signs of the heavy coats in the young foals, like, like you do here. Beautiful. Horse racing is popular in Mongolia. It has been popular since before the time of Genghis Khan. We watched a local race. It was about 10 miles long, five miles out and back in the Obi Desert. And the jockeys were children. Uh, because children learn to ride horses at a very young age. And of course, children are much lighter than, than adults. So they ranged in age from five to 13. And the very young riders had saddles and wore boots. And the older riders rode bareback with only socks on their feet. So it was all about minimizing the uh, 
the weight on the horses. Each horse and rider in the race represented a local family and I didn't see any uh, safety helmets. <laughs> That's beautiful, wow. Mm -hmm. And the wars went to the horses. Here's the winner of the race with the gold medal and blue ribbons. It was all about the horses. No awards to the riders, just, just the horses. Okay, now we'll jump to uh, Sonoma County. And this is my neighbor, uh, Lynn Bennett, with her horse Trooper. Trooper's boarded in a local stable. Lynn drives there five days a week to groom and exercise Trooper. Trooper uh, at 18 years old, Trooper is uh, excellent condition. He has an indoor stall and a private outdoor run. He'll, he'll live to 25 or 30 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Lynn and Trooper practice the sport of dressage which if you're not familiar is a uh, horseback riding sort of pursued to an art form, precision movements by the horse in response to uh, very subtle signals from the rider. This is a photo I did for the Sonoma Horse, horse Journal a couple of years ago, comparing Eastern and Western riding styles. But I'm using it today to uh, compare horse types. The horse on the right is a dressage champion slim and elegant and a horse on the left is a barrel racing champion and as you can see barrel racing requires a lower center of gravity mm -hmm. that's because they have to make sharp turns at a full gallop they cover sort of a figure eight uh, around the three barrels and the shortest time wins so to shave seconds off the time they cut the corner as close as they they can without knocking it over and that uh, low slung muscular build is exactly what's needed to navigate the turns tightly and then explode uh, and accelerate to the finish. Mm -hmm. It's a great sport. I love watching uh, barrel racing, love photo photographing uh, barrel racing uh, because of the way the horse and the rider work, work together. Bronc riding a little different. <laughs> There's no teamwork here. The rider gets points and money for staying on with some style and the horse earns money for its owner by making it very difficult for the rider to stay on. And personally, I tend to root for the horse in these events. <laughs> so now six shots showing a complete saddle bronc ride. The clock starts when the horse emerges from the chute. That's what you see here. The rules require that the rider has to stay on for eight seconds for his points to count. And at one second, both the rider and the horse are off to a pretty, pretty good start. At four seconds, the rider is still looking pretty good, although his boot has now slipped out of the stirrup, which will cost him some points. The horse looks fantastic. <laughs> at six seconds, the horse with tremendous exertion has jarred the rider loose and he's on his way down. And at seven seconds, the rider is down. The ride is over. It's now time to let go of the rope. And at the eight second time limit, the horse is a clear winner. And here's one more shot of a horse winning a saddle bronc competition. <laughs> Took this a couple of years ago, also at the Russian River Rodeo. Oh my uh, God. Some claim, in fact, I saw an article just recently in the New York Times about rodeos and money that's involved in rodeos and the prize money in particular. And so as a result, these horses are, are bred to win these events. Uh, they, they take winners and, and, uh, and their progeny to uh, keep improving the, the breed. Whereas the uh, riders are not bred to win these events. <laughs> so there's a steady, <laughs> steady improvement and more difficult uh, uh, for the riders to, uh, to win these. And, I, and I've, I've noticed that just in the, in the few years that I've been watching uh, Russian River Rodeo. Okay, now the dynamic sport of polo. Some call polo a combination of ice hockey and golf on horseback. Mm -hmm. And because it's on horseback, polo fields are huge. They take up about mm -hmm. 10 acres. Dimensions are about three times as long and three times as wide as, as a American football field. 
the goalposts are located at both ends. So if you're at one end, as you as we are here in this picture, then you can barely make out the uh, goalposts at the other end, just barely visible. And that's what it looks like when you're standing there as well. Uh, that gives you an idea of how big a polo field uh, is. Okay. Early the day of the match, the horses start arriving in trailers, lots of, of horses, and each horse participates in a seven minute period called a chucker, four chuckers to a match. So a single player needs at least four horses just to play one match. It works out for a morning of polo, four matches, two teams, that works out to about 130 horses needed just for that morning wow. of polo. Mm, takers. Very expensive hobby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Have to prevent injuries from being hit by the ball. Their tails are braided and then tied back to prevent the snagging the mallet. And so here's how it works. <laughs> the rider swings the mallet with the right hand and holds the reins in the left hand. The horse's mane is trimmed to prevent the rider from accidentally grabbing a handful of mane. And the horses are trained to look straight ahead as the rider swings the mallet. This is really important because if the horse jerks its head just slightly, uh, the player is likely to miss the shot. Even for this shot, which is called the next shot, uh, where the rider hits the ball perpendicular to the running direction, a well-trained horse looks straight ahead without uh, flinching at all. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now this is a really tough shot. This is called the back shot. So you can see the goal line is right in the foreground, that white line here. And that's the goal line for the player in white. So the blue player wants to get the ball out of there as quickly as possible, and he can't hit it forward because that would score a point for his opponent. So he has to hit it back. That's why it's called a, a back shot. He has to swing down on it, swing backwards. At the same time, he's guiding the horse to rotate, stop and rotate so that he can hit the ball without hitting the player behind him. You can see the ball there on, on the right. So especially uh, difficult shot for both player and horse. So a well-trained horse that can do things like this, manage the different shots and follow the action, uh, cost you somewhere between 30 and $50,000 each. Oh, geez. So, um, <laughs> it's an expensive sport. And of course you need at least four horses just to play one match. Yeah. yeah, and of course you got to have four that are that are healthy. So <laughs> you might need more than that. Uh, <laughs> physical contacts allowed. Polo horses have to be agile, be able to stop and start quickly, have endurance, but also be strong enough to be pushed around by the other horses or resist it. And this is kind of an interesting factoid uh, I found in Wikipedia that in polo. 60 to 75 percent of a player's skill and value to the team comes from the horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and at the end, the water cooled down. Mm -hmm. And that brings <laughs> me to the end. Oh, that's an essay wonderful. on horses. Thank you. That's amazing. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. That was fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Great. Learn stuff oh, like I <laughs> I think you should. We should show this again at another meeting so we get everybody else to see. Because it's amazing. Really good. Yeah, very Thanks. interesting. I had no learned idea. a lot. <laughs> yeah, great. My horse liked good having job, coffee Bill. first thing every morning. <laughs> having what? My horse liked coffee in the morning. Oh my god! <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the polo horses are not as muscular as the uh, the uh, rodeo ones, right? Well, not as muscular as as the barrel, the, uh, barrel racers. Barrel they're barrel. they're yeah. amazing. They're really really something. You know, they do it all in polo about twenty horses seconds. Have really good back ends. Yeah. Good acceleration, quick quick turns. Yeah. Mm, all, just... all, here, uh, all of the uh, polo horses are all, all from Argentina. Mm. So then they have to cover transport too. <laughs> oh man, you know, and, and then those, I didn't show the, well, I showed a little bit of the trailers there. These trucks are huge. 
And you can imagine picking, bringing in 150 horses for the morning and then taking them back out again. That's a lot of tra trucks and trailers, people. And all their feed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Where are most of these people from, Bill, that are playing? Well, there are there's sort of three groups. There are the professionals, the pros, like a golf club would, would have uh, pros that, that do coaching. Um, the pole pros are all from Argentina, so Argentina and, and Venezuela, so South America. And uh, they bring their families with them. And so there are kids out there playing who are amazingly gifted <laughs> in polo, as well as the parents. And then there are the people who really fund the whole idea of polo. It's a polo club. And so to be a member, you have to pay for um, the maintenance of the field. And, uh, and you, plus you have to provide horses and then and so forth. So uh, these are typically people who have a lot of money, uh, wealthy CEOs, uh, people who most of them are CEOs of some company somewhere in, in the Bay Area. They all live around here uh, and, and their kids uh, play as well. And so you see whole families sort of going through this. So it's, there are, and then there are grooms and grooms, of course, work for the people that have the horses and they get to learn how to ride and play polo as well without having to put a, invest a lot of money into it. So you have those three, sort of three group groupings that are all intermingled uh, in polo. It's an interesting uh, uh, culture, subculture. Mm -hmm. That was a great presentation. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. 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 Appreciate wonderful. it. Absolutely wonderful. All good images, Thank man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Did we record it? Yeah. It's being good recorded, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Recorded. Okay. Yeah. okay, good. Great action good. on some of those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, did I stop my share of my screen? Or can I We're doing <laughs> this alphabetically by first name. Okay. Okay, so I um, made this when we had an assignment to pick up a, a work of art and then try to recreate it. And so that's what I did. I have this postcard that I received that's from Japan and it's on wood. And it was the postcard was sent to celebrate um, Aboriginal Day when they got the vote in Japan. Huh. And we cool. think of Aboriginals as being from uh, Australia, but mm -hmm. they also had them in Japan. And so... Um, I think there's a lot of symbolism with the owl and with the headband that had ornamentation on it. So I didn't try to find ornaments that look like the picture. I, I tried to find things that are meaningful to me. And mm -hmm. like one of them is um, a pin that my dad got from being in the Navy. So oh. stuff like that. Oh, cool. So anyway. Cool. Um, I happen to have an owl from Japan. And so I had to balance it on my head while I was taking the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a pretty strange look on my face. I couldn't get one that looked exactly like the card or anything, but I, so this is what I came up with. So. <laughs> I love the lips. Great. Definitely. Nice, yeah. The lips are great. <laughs> I guess I should have included a picture of the card, but I didn't Maybe. think of it. That's okay. It's hot lips and <laughs> <laughs> love it. Awesome. Oh, oh. Hey, this that's is very nice. This is one I did. I was um, doing montages. It does actually say montage there. So yeah, nice. it was just messing yeah. around. <laughs> Got a fern in there. And I would have used a good model, but I didn't have one, so I guess. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> you did. Perfectly good you model. Well. <laughs> good color. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Nice form, square format. Mm -hmm. I and those eyes. Time, so I can't remember exactly what I did to get this effect. But. Impressive. But we, but we love those eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> 
I love the white. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, great. Yeah. Aww. This was something from the other photo group had a makeup day and they had somebody do face painting. Oh, yeah. And so somebody painted my face as a cat. And when I came home, I remembered that I had these cat ears. So I put them on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they match your hair perfectly. I know. <laughs> like you grew them yourself. Kind of silly, I know, but anyway. What did Tom uh, say when he saw you? Um, I'm not sure that he did see me actually. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Cool. oh boy. Yeah. You're I a dandy. A little, oh. dandy. Yeah, I was somewhere out in public and somebody came up to me and said, you know, your hair makes you look like a dandelion. Well, <laughs> so I happen to have a picture of one, so I thought I'd try it out. This <laughs> picture is making my nose itch. <laughs> yeah, I've been having allergies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. That uh -huh. is really great. I love it. Saying it's tickling your nose too. I think there's one more. I put in too many. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's oh, no. Was good. Oh. I, I put this oh. one in because yeah. one of the things I really like about this club is going on field trips and making friends. And so this mm -hmm. was a field trip to the 395 Death Valley. Yay. We ended up in the Hills yeah. after. Yeah. Nice. Or field trips. Yay. <laughs> Ellen. Oh, okay. Aww. So you all recognize me here, right? <laughs> it's cute. Aww. cute. I love the jumper. <laughs> yeah, very cute. <laughs> Was You're this the same assignment that Ann did? What's that? Was this for the same assignment Ann did? No. Well, this is this was just for this tonight you know no no i'm i'm teasing you i meant you oh. know like like you're wearing a costume to be little <laughs> i wish i mean i don't think i can <laughs> go back to that shape <laughs> how old are you they're missing a few teeth oh i look about three or three four three maybe and where were you living San Anselmo, and I'll give a credit to my dad, the architect. You look at that house there. I lived in a mid-century modern house in the mid-century. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, this oh, is so oh. fabulous. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this, this was for our, our COVID uh recreate art same same project oh, that ann did sorry who's the track this is wonderful wow. <laughs> How did you do that? well That's the next awesome. one we'll show you but you can look at this a minute just to appreciate this <laughs> yeah <laughs> the balancing it. what placement is just great i know i, I had a hard time i couldn't quite get my leg up Oh, you did good. Oh, you did good. <laughs> you did really really well. good. Really awesome. well. This was, you have to know that this is when we were pretty much on lockdown and it was yeah. it was about a hundred degree day and it was maybe Whoa. 90 in the house. Yeah. And uh so I was trying on, you know, I gathering together all these things I happen to have to just try and look like this <laughs> woman. <laughs> You, you did a great did job. Well. Yeah. You know, the the, next, only, the yes. only thing that you didn't do, your leg needs to be higher. I, I you know, I think <laughs> I even photoshopped it to get it a little bit higher. <laughs> Maybe we should see Joel in this outfit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want to <laughs> see you do the can can. Well, I got all the pieces, Joel. <laughs> try My leg out. would be lower. <laughs> so, yes. uh, <laughs> okay this shows you how i did it and it, it <laughs> i'm glad i got this opportunity because i need to get as much leverage i can out of this because it was such a pain um i was at the end of the hallway i had a tripod at the other end and i was controlling the tripod with my ipad there 
<laughs> and so I could see how I was posed and no. I could hit the shutter, but I all, there was a three second delay. So I had to hit the shutter. Oh no. And Put then hide the up. iPad behind myself, right? <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, <laughs> holding my leg up, which that's as high as I could get. <laughs> Bravo, Ellen. Yeah, and you really didn't good. step on your glasses, that's all. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. I had to take, I had to have the glasses on to see the iPad, and then I had to throw them off. To it. <laughs> and then actually, I, I was showing these to, to Rich, and he said, well, well, I could have taken the photo. And I said, no way were you going to stand around in the hallway for two hours while I dressed <laughs> and posed and all. So, I, yeah, that's the story. I think we should Great. do this again. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh, nice that was a fun thing. That's cute. That's um, really good one. Now this, yeah, that I uh, I tried to do some selfies with my phone, and they were hideous, just hideous. Yeah. But this one, <laughs> this one I did back in in 2018 when I was taking a photography class, and I I had a a tripod set up, and I had in, in my hand a. a it, it didn't have a three second delay, but anyway, I, I um, and then Chewy, you know, that's what I'm sitting on that chair. He likes to jump on my lap. So uh, uh, he photobombed the, the uh, self. <laughs> <laughs> it worked great. Tell us but anyway, story. that was a good photobomb. It's a good one. Uh, yeah. Uh, both you and Chewy are very clear. <laughs> uh, a yeah. Great picture. Yeah, that was that. You should have seen all the other terrible ones, but this one turned out okay. <laughs> Very nice. It's really nice. I like it. Oh, 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 oh. great! Oh. Oh. Dude, wow. Yeah. Well, I was in a, I was in a crazy mood when gosh. I put these in. <laughs> but yeah, this is what. Um, Jesus, <laughs> this is my high school graduation picture for my yearbook. Uh, and, um, it has that all um, over it. Yeah, it's 17, I'm 17, class of 68, just beginning <laughs> to go into a crazy time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It, yep. it was a long time oh, ago, and I'm surprised that I looked this young. <laughs> yeah, <this is> <laughs> Same year I grade, graduated, by the way, Joel. Me too. You got the shirt collar going on. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's classic late 60s. What the heck? You know, the yeah. the, you know? <laughs> nice. <laughs> this oh. is my first apartment and my first camera. And um, uh -huh. It's a uh, Olympus OM-1. And I don't know if anybody knows Boston um, or Cambridge, but I got it from a place called Underground Camera Used. Mm -hmm. And I nice. love that camera. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I find it interesting. Two things. One is that, yeah, I'm, I'm playing with this new camera and I'm taking a picture of myself. And yeah, I guess... I'm trying to see the world, you know, sort of trying to be a little bit hidden maybe. But the other thing, I don't know if you really notice it, you notice that my pants are pinned up because I had a lot less surface area at that time. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really the wonderful. <laughs> Those are pinned up. Oh, wow. Trisha took this, this for a class, and she got me relaxed. And I sometimes think, yeah, this is how she sees me. And yeah. I laugh because I don't see myself like this. But, boy, this is a great picture. And she did yeah, it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the it's sweater wonderful. is my favorite, was my favorite sweater. That sweater now is moth-eaten, long gone. <laughs> or maybe it's wore it until it was. Oh, I did. <laughs> great shot. And then is it awesome. Yeah, awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, great. Yeah. Fabulous. Who wouldn't fall in love with that guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already in love. <laughs> I was there when they met. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> when? What year? I can't remember. Thirty four years. Nineteen eighty eight, April twenty ninth. Whoa. Wow. 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 That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Made an impression. Uh, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is how I think of myself. <laughs> kind of pondering my choices in life. But this is, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, this is um, Shaver Lake up in the uh, eastern Sierras, just east of Fresno. And mm -hmm. it's basically what they call the Dinky Creek Wilderness Area. Mm -hmm. But it's just a beautiful area. And if you ever, ever get a chance to go east of Fresno, um, I think Fresno people are the only <coughs> who know about it, people in Fresno County, but it's absolutely beautiful. This lake is at like 5,800 feet and Huntington Lake is just above it somewhere. And that's about 7,000 feet. But they have some place called Dinky Creek, which is up on a plateau at 10,000 feet. And you can see uh, Kings Canyon to your south and Yosemite to your north from it. And yeah, it's a great place, but yeah, looking out on nature, kind of, this is, yeah. <laughs> did I do right or did I do wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I think I did right mostly. I think you got it. <laughs> well, that's where I was just vacationing, was at oh. Huntington Lake and up above uh, Badger Flat yeah. and up to Kaiser Pass. Yeah. And I believe I discovered, I have to verify this, and I took a lot of photos, uh, a bunch of bristlecone pines up there. Oh. Wow. It, oh, wow. It, the place is immense and it's fabulous and it's not well traveled. No. It just oh. isn't. And because Fresno County does not talk about it. <laughs> except to themselves and it is beautiful joel did you have the remote in your hand no this is trisha <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is trisha again good morning i'm gonna straighten that horizon yeah <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Aww. and this is us Aww. um I did make the right choice. That's first of all. <laughs> yeah. But um, over to the right there is uh, our cross country, a little bit of our cross country skis. It's really been a part of our life, um, cross skiing for a long time. But this was going out towards uh, Glacier Point um, okay. one winter. And uh, mm. let's we just say- We almost got a divorce. From, from, <laughs> from here, <laughs> For my first apartment to here was a, gr a long journey, but I did make it. And uh, yeah, this is this is me. Yeah, that's great. Trisha in the outdoors. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Me. Oh, a beautiful picture. It's a job. Really lovely. Yeah, yeah. nice. <clears throat> he told me it was a five mile trip. <laughs> I thought it was five miles round trip. It was. <laughs> When we, we got to this one place where I, I just couldn't go any further. And so I was taking my skis off and I made them ram right into him. And that was a, sort of accidental. And then I tried to step down onto the snow and my foot sunk three feet. <laughs> oh, oh, I was so mad. Oh, I was so mad. <laughs> oh, oh. Dragging her along on adventures. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is me, the big sister. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Cute. It's so it's sweet. It's <laughs> adorable. I think Which my sister is this. this the is other Ruth. one, Ruth. And um, I look like she had a um, you know, a, a vaccination on her her arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah just big like fly. Smallpox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smallpox. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, a spider. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh this, is cool, this. This was um, we we did a wabi sabi trip to Wal Walnut Creek. Is that where it was? 
and um that was just in a in a reflection oh yeah i remember this kind of yeah. interesting oh yeah that's cool it's really neat yeah i like it a lot hey. mechanical was that when when we did that presentation at uh you but, did you did yeah. a workshop you yeah, did, did a little workshop and then we went on a wabi sabi walk yeah yes cool 2016 wow still have gray hair <laughs> <laughs> that's very creative oh <laughs> that's good kind of like the past few years yeah. you know with covid it was more of like walk around the neighborhood a bunch and <laughs> see the neighbor's flowers or whatever and so I just took this and made it I don't know what I did with it but it was fun you made it magical Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah looks super yeah. neat yeah. <clears throat> sorcery <laughs> definitely <laughs> sorcery <laughs> and the next one is a um, cell phone Goofing around. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, happy Halloween. That's fun. <laughs> you, is it a mirror? Are you looking in a mirror or just no, I was just I was leaning yourself? over my phone so my face looked kind of like <laughs> swollen, more swollen. And then I just did something in um Snapseed or or one of those. Oh my gosh, fun. <laughs> Love yeah, it. I love I love high key. I, I just think mm -hmm. it's cool. And your eyes are great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should have made fangs, huh? There you <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, good job. Nice. Oh, no. oh, wow. Very nice. Uh, cool. This one, uh, this one, I was I, I recently purchased some new lighting flashes and strobes. <laughs> and I tried to use a snoot, a homemade snoot, which is, I took a piece of cardboard, rolled it up and attached it to the front of one of my flash units. And mm -hmm. uh, that's the way it turned out. So oh, it, fun. Was, it was, it was yeah. something different. Yeah, yeah, really. It, it was fun. Very cool. Yeah, I like cool. how, how it's very, very deep in the shades, but the rest of you is there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. well, you can see a little bit of the shirt. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. shadow of yourself. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very cool. You look surprised. Well, it was <laughs> that it was focused, so <laughs> <laughs> caught. You're like you're caught. Caught. Yeah. 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 So I was using the the Canon app uh, to control the camera and oh. putting it on eye autofocus. So. Most of them turned out pretty good, actually. I, I've been doing a lot of it, so nice. just practicing with lighting. Good. A deer in the headlights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, I think you'll see uh, some focus on the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Wow. Really uh, great, beautiful, really eyes. sharp too. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I this one I used uh, two lights and uh, like two strobes, and I changed my uh, uh, the irises and the eyes in uh, mm -hmm. Luma Oh, uh, so you, can, you can change it real easy. They have uh, you can change your eye color very easy, and uh, then you can also change it to cat eyes yeah. and, <laughs> and owl eyes. So these are the cat eyes. <laughs> oh, no. I thought looking at the light was just different. Mike, you got your skin tone absolutely right. That is yeah, great. Really? Yeah, really. So nice. thanks. Uh, it's taking practice, but I'm getting there. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to start calling you Indy. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Nancy hates that hat. She doesn't want to be anywhere around when I'm wearing it. It's a wonderful hat. Yeah. I love yeah, it. I'm it's shocked. I'm hat. shocked, Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a oh, little bit. Yeah, now this one. Uh, <laughs> really? Ah. I was trying to figure out what to do for these self portraits and so I watched a bunch of videos and th this one guy had some pretty interesting ones and the first one that I wanted to try was uh, 
he had put a bunch of flour in his hair and, and sat down on his living room floor and he had the flash going. And when, when he shook his head, all the, all the oh, flour wow. went flying and oh. the really caught it. But then I realized I don't have any hair. Didn't have the hair. <laughs> Nancy wasn't going there. Yeah, no, no, she, she didn't want to have any part of it. Oh, no, he did. He did one in the shower, and I thought, well, I'll do something different. So it took a while to get get it right and get it set up. But I put my uh, iPhone in a plastic baggie. Wow! <laughs> and uh, jumped in the shower and set up the camera and a strobe on a on a tripod. Oh my god! After about six or eight shots, I, I gave up. But this is. This one was okay, so <laughs> the eight. It was something like, different. That's great. It's cool. Anyway, it, it's fun to do. So it's this was a good idea, Liz, and uh, you guys on this committee. It was uh, very fun. creative. It was yeah. Very oh, wow. oh, Nancy, little Nancy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> little did anyone know what was going to happen there. <laughs> that, that's me and me and Miss Ginny, the Ginny doll. That oh. uh, I would rather have been holding a camera <laughs> and on a, or an erector set, but I was not a girly girl. But this this one I carried around in my wallet a long time. Oh. And here, here he has it sitting next to the bed. It is so cute. <laughs> that's yeah, that's very cute. Yeah. I remember Ginny dolls. I think. Both my sisters wore saddle shoes. Like I was going to say, I remember the saddle I shoes. Had, I had them. God, I had I a had curse them. of saddle shoes. Yeah, yeah. I loved them. My so childhood was ruined that. by saddle shoes. I'm yeah. guessing it was around 1952. I'm. I don't know. Kids never having had one. I'm not sure. How old I was there, but that's that's the house I grew up in Chicago. Well, they say the older you get, the less you know how old young people are. <laughs> <laughs> they all look young. I think you look two and a half or three. Who's the doll you're holding? That's Jenny. Jenny was like the. It's like pre Barbie. Barbie right. came mm -hmm. much later, yeah. and Jenny was a, a I guess a pot, at least. It seemed like it was a real popular doll to have. Yeah. So I here's really temple dolls. Yeah. Well, my mommy, oh, I should have found one with the, she did me and she was a beautician and she did my, I had permanent since the age of two, oh. her crappy little <laughs> hair. And she used to put me in, uh, have me in little Lulu, like ringlets, ringlets <laughs> and look like, uh, I look like uh, Shirley Temple. So this was me and my dad and my camera. Yay! Oh, <laughs> Yay! Finally got a camera. Yay! Where and, are you? Hmm? I'm, you I'm wondering understand. if it's like um, I forget. Is it Mackinac oh. or Mackinac Island? Mackinac. Yeah, you look like Mackinac you're on the, is the island, and Mackinac is the bridge. I That's think up in uh, uh, Illinois. Mackinac. Uh, not <laughs> Ill Illinois. Michigan. Michigan, Michigan. Uh, Wisconsin, northern it's, Wisconsin, I think. Okay. Oh, I think it's Michigan. Michigan. We were just there a few years ago. It's Michigan. That's a long it's bridge. Good. This looks a like really good. long bridge. Yeah. So like this is on a ferry. Cool. This is a ferry. So yeah, I'm... it's a ferry. An old ferry. <laughs> yeah. This, well, it's this... 1960. You can see it yeah. says August 60 on there. Yeah. yeah. And the, and the classic goes... scalloped border. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It came yeah, in a little Kodak yeah. booklet <laughs> where you could tear them out or just keep them in there. Yep. And you're wearing a sailor hat, I think. I am, because we were out on the water, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, my mom was gets the photo credit on, on these, these, these two. And she had one of those, what do you call the camera? Reflex was uh, uh, with the two. Reflex? You look down. Reflex? Rolleflex? Rolleflex. Yeah. Rolleflex. Had, that's what she had. So it would have been like 620 or 120 film. I worked in a photo mm -hmm. service in high school. So I could recognize, I knew I could recognize the different <laughs> films by seeing them. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
So this is 26 years later, and it's me arriving in San Francisco in 1986 when I moved here from Chicago. And I handed my Nikon FE2 to a, to a passerby. I had said, I had scouted out, this is Alamo Square. I knew exactly what I wanted. This was the picture I used to send everybody like as a postcard. Uh -huh. um, the picture, and then I wrote on the back, it's, you know, like, here I, I have arrived. arrived. <laughs> I've arrived. And it's also kind of interesting is that it's half of my life is right here, because I was 36 when I arrived. And I've, so 36 years in Chicago and 36 years uh, between San Francisco and the river. Wow. Oh, gorgeous yeah. woman. Yeah. I, I, I got to tell you, I, I was 35, and I arrived here in, in Sonoma County same year in September. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. from the East Coast also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was in Chicago. I was in the Midwest. No, no I hear you. Basically, getting away from the weather. Getting away from freedom. that humid <laughs> summers and those yeah. rigid <laughs> winters. <laughs> I arrived Valentine's Day, 1982, Ooh. and I left Chicago, and the wind chill was minus 74. Oh, <laughs> oh I got I off the that. building. <laughs> at, SF, at SFO, it was 62. Steve, so, oh. wow. hey, Steve, I remember that day. I think, <laughs> that Tony and I both were there, too. Yeah, that was, oh, that was something. And Nancy, your fashion that you're wearing, it looks it's like classic <laughs> Anna Madrigal from Tales of the City. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 had, uh, I had that, I had that made for me in Bali. Um, I, yeah. I gave them what I wanted and, and they made it. But you like the, the eight, I noticed 80s hair. Is that like a poodle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of like a Farrah Fawcett, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, Fawcett, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there's the Transamerica building. I came to San Francisco with IBM and I was working with, I was kind of uh, on loan to Rome that they just bought and my office was on the ninth floor of the Transamerica building. So it's wow. like where I came wow. from, you know, this little thing in <laughs> Chicago where it was like very boring to me. Um, <laughs> it, you know, in my childhood pictures. And, and I'm like, this is like, yes, I'm here. I'm in San Francisco. I'm, Freedom! I'm, I'm you know, I'm, it's like, I'm doing it. I broke away from the blue collar, lower middle class, um, thing you know and it's like whoa <laughs> so this is like this and Gary I guess I had sent this Gary I met him at a personal growth seminar in 86 and I had a uh um I lived uh up in the up in the upper Haight um and, and from the first place and and this I sent out as a uh an invitation to my housewarming and he he claims that this is this was, I was trying to hook him. <laughs> it, it's like I met him at a personal growth seminar and I'd invited him and he came to my party and he never yeah. left. He didn't <laughs> leave. Oh, still partying. It is only our generation that gets to go to personal growth parties to meet their spouses, future partners. <laughs> We were almost neighbors. I was living in the DuBose Triangle. Oh, yeah. I was up at Carl and Cole, just above the hate. I wanted to get away from the crazies, but I wanted to be in the hate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to live in, on Carl and Cole. Really? Oh. I did. Huh. Hmm. A different era. <laughs> ah, oh, when you, when. 67. Oh, I'm, jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous of you. You were there. You were there during the days. 43rd and Judah, 1971. <laughs> well, then we moved wow. to 30th and Judah in, well, in 88. This is really fun. This is fun. 
Oh, this is great. Oh, like wow. So this was taken in February of 2021 by Anne gets the photo, photo credit. <laughs> she came, I, I was selling her a lens and um, this is the second floor, uh, our second floor balcony. And, and they wouldn't let us come upstairs. <laughs> we would only be able to talk from 20 feet away. <laughs> it was COVID. Then, oh. <laughs> you can barely see it. There's a, on the railing on the far right, there's a little little uh, yellow thing. That's where Gary has attached string with a, a clothespin on the end. In fact, just today we got a <laughs> Whole Foods order and he comes and he delivers it and we put the tip for him. And they always love, they, they're like shocked that we're giving him a big tip. Yeah. <laughs> does Gary have a mask on there? Well, he does not like to. He 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 does not want to ever be shown in in any social media things. So oh. I never put anything out without his permission, and um, he he's never his, his face has never been on Facebook. You know, I mean, like he's just that way. So I respect it, and then yeah. I wanted love to, to Gary. <laughs> yeah, you see the I the the Invisible Man. Do you see the zucarinas? Where are they? In the tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yes, I see. And I was looking for them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's our Christmas tree. It's, uh, we, t we put a few saplings together in, in, a, in a bucket out, out there and put them, put them there. And this, uh, it came down, that, so this was... Uh, came down in uh, July because, you know, Christmas in July, you, you you take your Christmas trees down. You're supposed to take them down by July, I think. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Should have told my mom. <laughs> so that's our house. Yay. Nice to see nice. you. I like the look of it. Oh, my gosh. And so... This was, uh, I, I actually, let's say, this is my first selfie, Gary, I had just gotten an iPad, iPad, you know, bigger iPad, and he, in 2009, and he said, take a selfie, and then he showed me where the apps were to do funny things with it, and so um, this is before I came to uh, uh, our club, and um, <laughs> this is really cool, so. Patricia and I have been okay. discussing what body part that is you do not, <laughs> you do not want to know but what we body know. part what is it that's my face that's my face no the one in the hand hole. Hole. the one in oh, the that's hole. that gary no, put his hand no, over my right. gary no, I think... the one the one on the right through the window uh -oh. oh well that's the window to my mind we weren't sure <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's my face. You see the nose and the, yeah, 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 the that mouth, part. the bottom, and the yeah, face, and and then when you look inside, it's really all fuzzy. Yeah, Joel <laughs> thought it asked my <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nancy, are those fingers on top? Yeah, I think that was it. I don't. It could have been me, or it might have been Gary to be funny. Oh, but it, it was one of us, and that this was laying in bed. Those are pillows behind it. Oh. <laughs> they, look, oh. they look like a forest. Oh, no, that's a uh, great picture, Nancy. <laughs> I like it. It's like a totem. So that was fun. That's one of my favorites. Have it hanging here. So. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh, my gosh. This man yeah. has seen life. <laughs> A anybody yeah. recognize this old fart? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have very many. Uh, well, I, I don't have any pictures of when I was a kid. So I decided to do the opposite and <laughs> take a more current one and, and make it older. So oh, I took, great. I took wow. a profile picture. I think this is about three years ago. And uh, <laughs> used that uh, face app. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It, where they can age you or make you look younger or whatever so right. uh, that Ooh. was the result and you know i like it i kind of hope that's how i look in 2035 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well preserved uh, uh, we all nice. knew <laughs> and a nice hat the shirt was great too. that's my favorite hat i still have that hat. awesome hat <laughs> you look like a professorial fisherman 
Yeah. I don't know what, but you know, and I and I've got my favorite Hawaiian shirt on too. I, you know, yeah. That's just an outfit, man. It's yeah. good. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I saw that guy in Holbrook, Arizona. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hitching a ride. Yeah. Isn't it really cool? Really cool. Yeah. Oh, when I just threw in there. Uh, on a sad note, uh, Cookie, my little dog here, died yesterday. Oh, oh, I wanted to put this in here just as kind of a memorial. And uh, she was really popular in my family, and they always loved this picture. So oh. I decided to toss it in here. Oh, oh cookie. beautiful. Cookie. It was a good play with angels. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and I wish I had some older ones, but uh, they all got. How me. old is she, Bill? Well, in this picture, she's six. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, she was twelve. Wow, that's uh, pretty up there. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. What did she weigh? About five pounds. She actually weighed eight, eight and uh, maybe almost eight and a half pounds. Wow. I can so. see the hair resemblance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just loved this photo. I don't know why. Yeah. It's so <laughs> good. It, it, it's not love. It was just the lighting is really nice. Yeah, yeah, the lighting, lighting is. With a, a really <clears> old <throat> Apple uh, uh, iPhone, and it turned out really good. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's sweet. winsome. Winsome is the look I think she has. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice cookie. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yay. Oh, we've got another dog. This is my dog, Buddy. Oh. And, uh, that's a light coming in through my window in the afternoon, and I was trying to get it on the ball, and but, you know, missed, <laughs> and he's short short of patience, and that you got what you got. Yeah. <laughs> but you got it on, on Buddy, and that's it's a great yeah. picture. Uh, yeah. All it's clear, awesome. very clear. Yeah, I've got a photography friend who says he's my muse, and I don't think he's wrong. So, uh, <laughs> very sweet. Yeah. Does he awesome. like his chest rubbed? Uh, he really likes everything rubbed. <laughs> <laughs> good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He wants to be, he's a rescue. He, he actually, my son found him, uh, he picked him up, his brother and his mother, uh, they had been dumped, sadly, um, on Mosquito Ridge, which was the origin of the mosquito fire. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, nine months apart, he picked him up in uh, November, and then I adopted him in December. Oh, wow. How oh, nice. You've been watching you on Facebook. Oh, nice. all. Seems to be well trained. Yeah. He's a good boy, but you know he wants to be a good boy, so that it, it, he makes it easy. Yeah. Mm. And that's my. This is my favorite thing. And now I've got Buddy as a companion. But um, mm -hmm. one of my favorite things is to be out in nature and to hike. And those of you who've known me a couple of years ago in 2019, I did um, half of the Tahoe Rim Trail which is a backpacking trip solo. I did 95 miles in 10 days. Oh my and God. Then, uh, yeah, I just, I'm going to go out tomorrow with my dog. Um, and um, so it's good to have him because he's game and my husband doesn't worry so much anymore. Yeah. So you did the Tahoe one. Trail two years uh, ago? Tahoe Rim Trail? Yeah, I went in at Echo Lake on Highway yeah. 50 and I came out at Mount Rose. Wow. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I've been up by Echo Lake. Yeah, that's great country up there. Yeah, I've been to Desolation backpacking before, but um, um, never solo. So that was an adventure. And I uh, was really totally out of touch for four days with, you know, no signal or anything. Yeah. So that was my longest stint, you know, with really being isolated. But I went in at Echo because there's, you know, it's pretty well populated. So every day there was fewer and fewer and fewer people. And um so I could acclimate to really totally being alone. I've been out there for cross country. You know, it's a back country um, yeah. road out there. And mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, I mean, it's it's beautiful, isolated. Yeah. But yeah. for anybody who goes out there, I mean, it's really well-traveled. There are just yeah. a lot of people who use it. And so it's, it's kind of safe to be blunt. 
<laughs> well, it's it's well marked. Um, the, the only issue with being well traveled is not a lot of people are informed, and and a lot of people inadvertently yeah. feed bears, which oh makes God. it less safe. Which makes it less safe for the really for the bears. Um, yeah, this is uh, someone asked where this is. This is Bolinas Ridge, so this is above Fairfax, mm -hmm. and. Um, you can, I got dropped off at Bolinas Ridge. I actually took the selfie for a photo challenge that I did in um, 2019. And you had to take a self portrait of you doing something you love. And uh, I had parked my car at Alima. So um, I got dropped off above Fairfax and I walked to Alima. Oh, wow. wow, nice. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing because you see, um, you see the redwoods and then um, you've got Stinson beach and Bolinas lagoon oh, on your left hand awesome. side. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ellen, I also grew up in San Anselmo. So that's uh -huh. a nice, yeah. But unlike most of you, I'm a California native. <laughs> mm -hmm. Third generation. And my husband is a fifth generation Petalumen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Saying something. yeah. We'll have to talk San Anselmo sometime. Sure. We will. Well, so anyways, gosh, look at this. This look is a that. classic studio portrait. Yeah. Uh, two years old, 1957. That's and gorgeous. I was a fat <laughs> baby. Uh, no, I'm sure that isn't your, your fatness or your diapers. <laughs> <laughs> and the bow tie is that is adorable yeah i know i was looking at that yeah yes i i had probably a dozen clip-on bow ties <laughs> <laughs> and you had some miles on those little shoes yeah, yeah you were motating <laughs> I, I was quite an animated little kid that's adorable <laughs> that hasn't changed i know <laughs> I love that face. Oh, neat. Coping that's, on it. That's cool. I love well, look it. at that body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Before oh the God, belly. You guys yep. are so funny. Before the belly. You've had that beard for a long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've had a beard uh, practically since I could grow it. Uh, <laughs> But it wasn't until probably around 1990 that I could actually grow it longer and keep my job. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> congratulations. But then uh, nearly, what was it, about the mid-1990s, I became self-employed. And when you're self-employed, it really helps if you have things that where you're remembered. Yeah. And so long beard, three piece suit and tie, diamond ring, BMW Z3 Roadster. And <laughs> people remembered me. He said, oh, that, that guy with the beard who drives the Roadster. Said, yeah, get him. Wow. <laughs> We're learning a lot tonight. How could I see you in a Roadster? <laughs> I want to see him in a suit. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, had, I had to keep the top down all the time because I was my head would scrape the roof. Uh, yeah. um, so people saw me driving around like that. Yeah. And that's what happened to your hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Right. Wrangler. Oh good heavens. <laughs> while, tra <laughs> while traveling through Colorado, and the person I was with said, Oh, look at this. You got to do this. So I did it. <laughs> I like the slit Perfect. in the beard. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The yeah. point is not on your face. But what was interesting about those stripes in the beard? There yeah. was one time I was in a bar in San Francisco, and there was a tattoo artist who kind of for pleasure it was a pool table and he would do tattoo type designs in chalk on the pool table and one day I was in there 
and we were standing side by side and I didn't realize it at first, but somebody walks in and looks at me, looks at him, looks at me back and forth. And then we looked at each other. And then we realized his beard was gray, except for black stripes where mine was gray. We were like the photo op, you know, Oh, oh, funny. Uh, oh, nice. oh, oh, cool. You met your own negative. <laughs> now, this is a classic. What does that say? What does that say? <laughs> it says sperm <laughs> surfing. If you look closely <laughs> at the white ovals with the squiggly tails. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man, does this bring back memories. This is uh, after the Loma Prieta earthquake. Yeah. When when they shut down the 480 freeway before tearing it down. Right. And if you were on a high floor in one market plaza or the Hyatt Regency or from my apartment, you would see hundreds of sperms swimming along the top of the 480 freeway. Mm -hmm. there, there was an artist who in that time period, South of Market and the Haight-Ashbury and various other places would paint sperm coming out of doors, going into doors, going into <laughs> bathrooms. So you'd see them all over. And this was, you know, this one time art that disappeared. Recorded for San Francisco posterity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Regardless this was such of a good storm, idea. I love, I love this shot. Yeah. I spent my my parents drove us into the city a million times when I was a kid. And boy, when the, you brought this up, it's like, oh, I know where that is, exactly where that is. <laughs> it was very pretty at night to drive by. <laughs> cool. Oh, Tim. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, cool. There is Tim. Good one. Wow. I don't think he's here. Oh, is he yeah. back in Boston? I don't Maybe. know. He's either in Boston or New York. Where were those photos he posted from? Right. Well, I really like the diagonal. It's always good to have a diagonal to get the attention. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Good composition factor. And the shirt rocks. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hey, Tim. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Happy uh, <laughs> This this took place uh, at a family reunion, and I was not notified that my present was to be in the front of a bike lane. Oh. And we went up, and I seriously considered when I was in the Navy of uh, becoming an aviator. But after seeing one or two crashes, I decided I didn't want to do that. But by plane, that was something else. And we took off. We're having a great time. And he actually let me take the stick for a while. Ooh. And then he said, I'll take the stick back now. Do you see that lighthouse down there? And me and lighthouses are <sighs> pretty close together. But I didn't realize that what he was going to do was to tip <laughs> the left wing. And we were going to slide down to ah. it. And we dropped probably about, probably about 800, maybe 1,000 feet. And we got down there, and the only thing that didn't stop was my stomach. <laughs> and I remember the entire rest of the trip trying to save face and not blow lunch on the guy yeah. behind me. Yeah. <laughs> and he is grateful. Yeah. I was very grateful. So, so this picture is uh, before you drop to the lighthouse. This is taken on the ground before we started. Oh, <laughs> nice. Because you're not green here. No, <laughs> no, I'm pretty much natural color. <laughs> you look pretty happy. Yep. I was. Yeah. That's awesome.
Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a story behind this because oh, at, right after I got my first digital camera, I got Photoshop either four or five. <laughs> and the first thing I learned about was liquify. <laughs> nice. And this was one of my first attempts at learning Photoshop. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's my brother. I'm and sorry. That, that's me. <laughs> is he still alive? What? Is your brother, Joel? Is your brother still alive? <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, really. You can send him this for Christmas. He's he's gotten it before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fun, funny. Yeah, it's a fun picture. <laughs> the ear canals. I know it's yeah. really, it's awesome. Harry. Okay, since you haven't known me since I was a kid, um I wanted you to see me shorter, thinner. And without gray hair. <laughs> uh, at this this was shot uh, in back in Connecticut, and uh, this was a rather an unusual shot from the point of view of there was a guy that came around once a year with a pony. Yep. Oh, and oh, you would, yeah. And <laughs> you'd get up and sit in that pony and get your picture taken. <laughs> How old were you? Huh? Two, three, two or three? Uh, let's see, forty-five. I was three. All right. Mm. And your your suspenders had room to grow. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I had already grown. <laughs> yeah, this is letting them out. <laughs> yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, I wonder if it wasn't same of her insane pony that they sent around to everybody in New England. Did they go to Maine? Because they wrote it in Maine. Oh, they came to San Francisco. It, 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 it didn't look anything like Bill's wonderful horses. It was. No. <laughs> and the saddle had holes in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, that's mm. great. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, COVID hair, because Joel and I went up to um, Marin Headlands just to get out of the house, early COVID, <clears throat> and I hadn't had a haircut in I don't know how long, my hair was really short at the time, and it was about this point where I decided I was just going to let it grow because I was never going to look like this again. <laughs> <laughs> It is very expressive. Yeah. <laughs> it really was quite a bit shorter before then. Yes. We can contest. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh, this is this is something I just did. It wasn't, I don't even think it was Halloween. <laughs> I think I just realized I had this orange wig that I hadn't put on for a while. I mean in my pajamas. I made up my face and made some teeth out of some paper that I had and <laughs> this picture, God knows why, but I love it. I think it's hilarious. Joel <laughs> still loves you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I, and I want to say that those, uh, the pajamas, the stars light up at night. It's oh, oh, <laughs> really disconcerting. You wake up at two o'clock after she goes to the bathroom. You got to wake up. <laughs> There's a <this> separation. <laughs> We're bordering on TMI. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, Joel. Night, night sky photography. Oh, fun. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That is, oh, what a wow. wonderful collage. This, this is a project I did for school. I, I went back to school and, um, well, I was in photography classes in, I don't know when I started, 2018, 2019. I graduated in 21. Um, and 
I was around all these young people who were afraid to talk to me. <laughs> and so yeah. we had this, this one class where I had to do art every two weeks. I had to produce a work of art every two weeks. And I decided that I wanted to show them that I had had a very full life, that I had been a kid once, you know, <laughs> that, that uh, so this is just called my life map. And you can see me, I think the first one is a kindergarten picture, then first grade, a part of my family that was there then, now it's, it's quite a lot bigger, high school graduation, um, Oh, with some friends, my sister, you know, I mean, it's just like marriage, everything, Halloween. The hippie years. Yeah. <laughs> the hippie <laughs> years. Awesome. 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 I looked up really close at those ones in the upper right. Uh -huh. Those are amazing. Aren't they nice? Yeah, I think, um, I think Bill Shum took those. The, you what? I, this guy that, um, that Liz and I know we I think he took them he, he was really really into photography and he mm -hmm. um he and these other guys were in the navy together and they all bought Nikon cameras in Japan and then when they came back um that was when I started using um a camera for the first time I was 20. But that like that one uh well the, the upper right one I mean like a tall drink of water here <laughs> and that and, and and that bikini one. I mean, that's like amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing in that you know to go back to kind of I picture the hippie thing, you know, and kind yep. of like and and I think about how so much life is ahead of you and this, but you're living during those days, right? Age, then. You know, yeah. and 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 there you are. I mean, you were living it. And those, I, I mean, I, I was just, you know, besides you and Joel is, is so sweet and, and, and that, but I still, it's those three in the upper right-hand corner that have me just, just interested in knowing what you, you know, who you were, what you were thinking and doing then. Uh, the one, the one on the right and the bottom is me and my sister on the beach in Florida. I lived in Florida for a year um, I was living with another guy and um, his parents had <laughs> us uh, they, they invited us to come run the Greyhound franchise and the Western Union franchise in St. Augustine Florida and we said we'd do it for a year and they really did it because they wanted to give us the franchise if we'd get married we didn't <laughs> you made a really good choice yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know it took a long yeah. time but we got there yeah yeah look where greyhound is today too <laughs> <laughs> and florida yeah. Yeah. and then the yeah. one on the very bottom that's like a little tiny me with a, i think another woman is there with me um a uh, rafting trip down the um colorado river in the grand canyon oh, nice oh yeah, yeah. Nice Rock series. Is. Nice yeah. series, Trish. Thanks. That was good. Very what fun. response what response did you get from the uh your uh, they still didn't talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> they did later though, right? Some of them uh, when, when we went to Zoom, interestingly enough, all of a sudden everybody could see everybody face mm -hmm. front. And it just completely changed the dynamic. Mm -hmm. So funny. I appreciated it. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I'm like really vain. I'm super vain. And every once in a while, I just got to bust it open. And <laughs> this is me busting open the super vain woman to show the woman inside. <laughs> wow. Well done. <laughs> I love the shading. Sister Trisha. <laughs> She's very judgmental. Yes. <laughs> I am zipping it. <laughs> it's bold. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, I remember this oh. one. Yeah. Oh, I like this picture. That was a good one. Awesome photo.
I don't know who took this. I think I took it. Yeah, I think you did too. Okay, great. Was that yeah, I love that photo. Ashford something down Badwater? Was, it was but bad water. Make sure you get the credit for taking it because you told me to take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I know that we did go to bad water, and I don't know. Uh, I think south. that's what this is, Death Valley. Yeah, so. yeah. There was it like a Death little Valley. yeah. Way right south there. on Badwater Road, it's called. Was it called Ashford something? Ashland Ash something? Carrie took. I took that picture. Thing. Not quite. Carrie knows where it is. <laughs> Yeah, I want to go back down 395. I want to do that trip again. I love that. Me and I love Valley, Alabama Hills, all that stuff. That was awesome. Fun place to visit. Fall color coming up. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That's it. That's oh, now we get, oh. we get uh, Siraj and, and uh, Gary. Okay. Did we get them? Are they going to share their screen? Yeah. Yes. Oh, screen. Oh, great. Okay. I missed Siraj, that. you going first? Yeah. Oh, sure. So I didn't realize that the, well, whatever. I could have pulled some wonderful ancient photos, but we're yeah. starting with current times. <coughs> and here you will find me in my natural habitat. Wow. Yeah. This was one of the first times hikes I took after I had my new ankle and it was so great to be out again yeah. <laughs> just out mm. this is up at um Spring Lake backside oh, of the oh, all right. yeah. beautiful yeah. and camera holding then, yeah that's my r5 and my mm. one to 500 and some more things in the back and then this is what I started doing. This, this is currently a very small portion of my quilting wall where I have all sorts of pieces and bits stuck up together. It isn't and, coming up for me. Oh. Um, is it for everybody else? Hold on a second. Oh, it was a distorted oh, picture. Yeah, of the I thought first it was, that was it. Yeah. Here, here it, like it is. Froze. Do you have it now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes, that is the Guggenheim Museum. And I'm filling in the sky in back of it. Ultimately, if I hadn't been attached to where everything was on the wall, I would have thrown it all on the floor in a big pile and laid down and taken a selfie from above, <laughs> tackling like a, you know, a fabric pile of leaves. <laughs> but what this got me to was being able to take it into Photoshop and get over myself and play. <laughs> with the distort right. button oh yeah <laughs> and this was so much fun and ever since I put this together last night I spent about three hours up in the middle of the night just figuring out how to do yet more wonderful things <laughs> Good for That's you. and I am a California girl Me I too. grew up in Livermore I moved to Sonoma County in 1976 and haven't looked back except once in a while. And I met my husband at a Halloween party at my house in Pengrove in 1991 or 92, depending on which one of us you talk to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, I rely on my husband for the memory. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Who else was screen sharing? Gary. 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 Gary, you're muted. We can't hear you. <laughs> Gary, you're Speak muted. Up, Gary. <laughs> Unmute <laughs> yourself. Sorry about that. There you go. <laughs> and oh my goodness, where did I go? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Light room. Come on, share. There we go. And I'm on that one. Okay. Come on. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I'll just have to leave That's it that bad. way. I yeah. thought I could make it full screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Yeah. This... <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> this is the morning walk. And I notice that before, you know, you get up early and then where we are in Sebastopol, kind of on the southwest part of town, the, we've got some slight hills and stuff. And then with the light hits in the early morning, you get these long shadows. So with a, and then you add a, a wide angle lens and uh, it kind of, uh, so you get these crazy long shadows and Marnie says, well, lean on the light foe. So I thought, you know, so I, I called that one the uh, uh, rest stop. So there we are, Clever use resting of a on the post. And, pardon me? Clever use of a stop sign. That's really cool. So yeah, so that was kind of fun to do. And I've done a bunch of those and I never really, and I never did anything with them, but so this was an opportunity to do something fun and convert to black and white and, you know, the light that, vignette. Like, yeah. If I were you, I would enter yeah. this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. this is I'm cool. Maybe energy. well next month. <laughs> Thank you. It's really but, great. I love it. Yeah. So, you know, that was fun to produce. So anyway, to do. Okay. And now this one I oh, called uh, uh, eavesdropping. Oh, so, eavesdropping. <laughs> I saw a, uh, uh, I'd, I'd done a little research, read a couple articles, and then I'd watch a, a YouTube thing. And, and one of them, of course, Reflections was one. So I tried some different things, and then I tried this one. So it was kind of fun with the wide angle lens trying to hold the camera and try to get myself into the right mm -hmm. place and look at, you know, to, to get it. And then I thought, well, that one would work because it's kind of hiding behind these leaves that are in focus and, and uh, kind of looking over somebody's shoulder when they're not, you know, so. You look anyway, like that, Andy Warhol. Yeah. 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 So it's just different. Yeah, something different. Yeah. I wanted to do something different with this rather than the standard selfie. And, yeah. Good. And then the last one. Was this one. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. yeah. So um, I wanted to do something yeah. with slow shutter speed or, you know, or, mm. you know, like that slow shutter speed or action like that. And so I thought, well, the whole thing with, uh, with that is like with a flash, you put it on rear curtain flash with right. a slow shutter speed. And at the end of the exposure with rear curtain, um, it flashes at the very end. So mm. I had to set, I set up out my backyard with a light stand and off uh, and put a, a red gel on there. But then my background came out white and then the, and that didn't look right. So I took my headlamp and put a, a red head, the red uh, part of the headlamp to get the background and coming in and I must have taken about 20 shots or more and uh, that was the one I kind of uh, finished up with but yeah it was kind of you know stuff sneaks into the background that you don't expect with a black background so it was fun to do yeah very good really cool yeah, yeah. thank you. you got a little bit of the shadow on your face from your hand that looks <laughs> yeah 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 and then the you no look shadow like you're too enjoying from... yourself yeah, from having the off-camera flash too, you ended up with that little bit of shadowing on the face and on the cap that uh, maybe you wouldn't have too, you know, that and uh, kind of that Renaissance lighting or whatever they call it, where you put it at the upper right or upper left and get that shadow on the nose and yeah, and like that and feel so. Yeah. Well, anyway, that was that was fun. To, I mean, it was kind of a process of. Uh, starting with one thing inside while well, the white background didn't work. So then you go outside, you know how it, how it is. And it's kind of a, you end up uh, with something after you've, after 20 failures, you end up with something. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like in the yeah. shower, huh, Mike? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Oh, this has been great. It really yeah. is. I, yeah. I don't, don't think we need the other, the John Burgess thing. Thinking save of doing. it for another night if you yeah like. yeah absolutely it's this been is great really, it's a really good fun. idea whoever yeah. thought this up yeah. this is liz's it, idea is, i love totally it liz. Yeah. i think i read about it i read about good. it good idea this is great yeah, yeah, very yeah. Good. are we gonna do yeah, um, are we gonna guess, do a gathering of, of people working on our uh, portfolios ahead of time or anything like that um, the next it's scheduled. I forget when oh, exactly. Oh, good. I mean, it was scheduled to show them afterwards. Like I think at the at the end of Herb's master presentation. Yes. But I mean, a kind of a salon type thing where we were going to help each other. Is that? Yeah, right? I'd like to do that. I would too. I would I too. We were. I missed the memo, but sure. Let I'd like me, to see them. I I can 
Let's see. If I go oh, that wasn't just back me. to my browser, and if I go to oh, nasty. See, not that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. And let's see, what do we have? What's critique night? I think that's with Tony. Yeah, that's when Tony will go over with each person who sends in photos. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, it's sure. the 27th. There it is. Yeah, Herb's doing his pro his uh, master's. And then... Right, it's, and portfolio is after. But okay. I thought that was, we were, because they're due, right? That's due the finished one. This is finished, because we're, we're due around then. Yeah. We're due well, to do to one where we have them in N four C. You're speaking of going through to critique it so that we can tighten things up before actually. Yes. 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 And let's see. This November first, I think, is the due date. Yes. Yeah. But we want to do it before this October 27th so that we can show the finished product to the whole group. Yeah. So, so why don't so why don't we try to schedule something for mid-October sometime? How about October 20 is a uh, Thursday? Um is that a program night though? Nope. Mm -mm. 27th uh, is program night. Okay. Competition is uh -huh. the 13th. It, the 20th is in between these two. Yeah. I think there's okay. some, what a wait a second. Okay, now I can look. October 20th. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't have to be at night. We could do it during the day. Mm -hmm. So should I send out something with the uh, proposed dates? Um, That'd be great. Is it early, yeah. mid, or late afternoon preferable? The evening would be better for me, um, but okay, as you work, I'm flexible for either. Yeah, evening's fine with me. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, evening's good. I just got one comment, um, Cerise. Cerise. Yes. You you said that you missed the memo. It, oh yeah, no, I've uh, yeah no. <laughs> so you know about the the portfolio competition? Uh, no, I don't. But I'll go and read up on it now. Um, it's it's through N four C and go to the N four C website. Okay. Um, and anybody what else I, maybe just want to talk to her about it? Maybe call, give her a call or something. Mm -hmm. Sure, I I'd, I'd be happy to. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, Jennifer, because I, I have to admit, I'm I'm not entering the portfolio. Right. You can also look at the competition results and review the portfolios that won oh. from last year. Excellent. Yeah. Where would you do that, Steve? The same competition results. Shall I show you? Yeah, sure. Ah, ah. And then what you want to do, well, let's see, that's plenty early enough. But... Who has the wonderful feedback going on? Yeah, I know it's terrible. I don't know who it is. No. Is, it, is it Steve? Because it seems like it comes on when he's speaking. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. Yep, that's you. It is you. Well, I'm using my headphones in the club laptop, and the other you were, 
you were signed in twice when I first joined. I saw your name on there twice. Maybe oh, that's that's what's going on. Uh, okay, <laughs> let me see. My microphone, even though it's halfway across the room in a cabinet, might be my volume's up. So let me try to see if. Well, it's not happening now. So you may yeah. have adjusted something. So anyway. Um, when did the results come out? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's, I have to go up to. Do you see how we're getting, how yeah, Steve I, is getting there, Siraj? I do. Okay. I do. I'll fuss around. Yeah. And Jennifer can help me. Okay. Yeah, so. there's an, an N4C. You can even watch the uh, presentation of the uh, of the winners. Let's uh, see. They have a, a video, and I'll I'll search out. See here, see here, portfolio. Yeah, UI. yeah. Uh huh. Okay, and so uh, December twenty one is what you want. Twenty second of tw oh, oh, 21, Yeah. The yeah, year twenty one. Oh, yeah. And so, you see, here's Terry's, and mm -hmm. let's see. Now, um, oh, it's not true on this one. Um, in regular competitions, uh, if you don't place, but you want to see all of the images, there will be a little checkbox about right here that's you click it and it displays all the images in competition, uh, whether they won or not. Interesting. So oh, really? that's, okay. that's just a little nicety there. And cool. then when you're looking at these, um, you can also, if you click on slideshow, then it's the same kind of slideshow we just did. So then you can go through and look at the portfolios. I forgot how great it was. <laughs> yeah. How many um, photos per portfolio? Seven to 10. <gasps> Thank right. you. But I'll tell you, the first year I did it, I only did seven and I got dinged for it. So oh, is that right? right? I have more. Yeah, so I will always do 10. Yeah. At the beginning, you have your statement of what it is. And at the end, you have the summary slide of all the images. Got it. So the um, next. So, Suraj? Yes. Right. So, for the, example, the this N4C one. website explains a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know, it's, even written down, it's written down so that you can take it in <laughs> over a period of time. Got it. And even if you don't do it this year, mm -hmm. because a lot, I know Trisha has been working on it for a little bit. Yeah, yeah this is. Um, Trisha won it, last time. Trisha, yeah, she got an award. It, yeah. it, 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 it's, this is going to be our second time around for it. And it, it's really mm -hmm. popular within N4C. So I'm sure it'll be also available in the coming year. Got it. I'll pay a sales tax first. <laughs> <laughs> Since I still work. So, yeah. I remember that one. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, there's also, let's see if I can get back to the other tab. Um, in terms of competition results, on this tab, um, way down here at the bottom, oh, I can stay on it. When we submit to N4C, this is a submission to another organization. And so when you, you see it says and results. So when you click on that, Oh, as a winner. Right. When you click on, for example, creative at N4C under this one, 
you're going to see just the winners from our club separated from everybody else, every other club, just us. And you can also, when you click on a column, you can sort. So, Steve, do you have to have the permissions to to see that? Because it sounds like it's submitting to the competition, which not no, it, the members don't previously submitted. It, it said submissions as opposed ah to submit. Okay. So it's showing you the submission. This is also useful for me and others in order to verify um, Point what we've that we've uploaded our winners to the next N4C competition. Got it. So, yeah. Uh, cool. You can also, something that this My Image History, you will see your own history of all your images and you can sort on awards to see what awards you've won. Mm -hmm. oh, um, good. You know, and it will show, for example, whether it was us or N4C. You know, so you can say sort by the event date, it'll first show the earliest, and then you click again, it'll show the latest. And, oh, and something else that, especially as your, your personal library gets larger, uh, something in the options here, you can uncheck this one. And so the only one checked is include images never entered into a competition. So if you have images floating around your library that you've never entered, Mm -hmm. And when you search on those, it will, it considers the, the group sequence image for uh, all of that. But uh, wait, get out of there a second, scroll. But you notice, you know, this was not entered into a competition. So it's here. But if you're looking, okay. I gotta I want, take off you guys. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm gonna go do that. Go eat. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's Good really night. fun. Good night, Trish. Hi, nice okay. selfies. I have to I have to go too. Good night, you guys. Um, okay. Good night, Jerry. Good night, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. They only okay. keep they only right. keep the non-winners uh so long. It's like 90 days or something like that. Um oh. They only keep those that were never entered into a set, into a competition for only 90 days, I think. That's, I believe they keep the thumbnails, but not the full size. The thumbnails, image. but not the, right. Got it. Another thing you can do is search just for HMs because you can re-enter HMs. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's a good one. HM. There's a little drop down that lets you filter by the award. And if you select HM. Honorable mention. Thank you. Right. It'll bring those up because those you can enter again until they win. Three Max, maximum. maximum three times. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can night. get all eight of you finishing sentences. <laughs> yeah. we're, up to, we're up to four. <laughs> oh, I think I, it is fun. Fun night. Love it was a lot of fun. Thank you for playing it together. Thanks. Thanks for Thanks the for idea. The idea. Thanks, 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Steve. Thanks.